A tragic ending to a search for Jasmine Pace led us here at the Hamilton County Courthouse where Jason Chen faced his bond hearing. Friends of Pace wrote on social media that no matter how hard it was to be in court today, what happened today was a win for Jasmine. You've got last known location, you have a large amount of blood, you have locations where the bodies dumped that are connected to this man, you have a body that is packaged like something from Amazon. Disturbing testimony left friends and family of 22-year-old Jasmine Pace with tears in their eyes as Jason Chen, the accused murderer of Jasmine Pace, faced his bond hearing. Did you identify a suspect in the disappearance of Jasmine Pace? I did. Who was that? Jason Chen. Zach Crawford is a lead detective investigating Pace's murder. He says Jasmine's last known location led investigators to Chen's North Shore apartment. Crawford says blood transfers and DNA evidence pinned Pace as Chen's victim. We could tell due to the condition of the blood at the time that it was apparent that some sort of cleanup had happened at that location. Was it the police department's opinion that this crime that had been committed was survivable? No. Testimony revealed they used Chen's cell phone location to not only track him down at his parents' home in Nolansville, but also find Jasmine's body. The decedent is a young woman who is uh, in that suitcase in basically a fetal position. There were uh, two um, sets of shackle or handcuff uh, devices. Uh, both of them went from her ankles to her right wrist and upper arm. Dr. Stephen Cogswell is the deputy chief medical examiner for Hamilton County. He says Pace was wrapped in trash bags and stuffed inside a rolling suitcase, caught up in kudzu. There's a total of 60, that is six zero, uh, sharp force injuries, both stab wounds and, and cuts or incised wounds. Some of those wounds, Cogswell testified, showed Jasmine fought back. Our wounds that um, are inflicted on the hands or arms when someone is trying to ward off a knife or a, a blow from something. Dozens of Pace's family and friends shocked when the judge announced he was granting Chen bond at $5 million. I will set his bond at $5 million. <laughs> In addition to that, he, if he does make bond, he'll be on house arrest with geographical restrictions um, and he will have to forfeit his passport. The next time Chen will be in court is on February 16th for his preliminary hearing. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Jordan Karnback, News Channel 9. All right, Jordan, thank you. In addition to the new details we learned during testimony from investigators, we also learned more about Chen. Latricia Thomas has more on testimony from Chen's mother. Latricia. Kim, the court hearing today gave us a deeper look into suspect Jason Chen and who he is, his connection to this community. His defense asked Jason Chen's mother through a translator if he has any mental health conditions. He doesn't have mental problems. He's normal. Now that's Jason Chen's mother speaking through a translator. She testified that Jason was set to graduate next May from UTC with a degree in computers. He worked part-time jobs, one at a clothing store. The DA's office tried to establish that Chen was a flight risk since he has family in China and his parents live in Nashville. <laughs> Because uh, he's, he's telling me he's very scared here, and uh, I promise I'll take him, uh, my husband and I will take him to court every time. Social media posts all day continue to remember Jasmine Pace and ask for justice after her body was found near Suck Creek Road and the arrest of Jason Chen. Now, Chen lived in these apartments right here behind me, and we also know that Jasmine was with Chen right before she disappeared. In addition to that, this was her last known location as she sent a ping to her mother over text just a few days before Thanksgiving. The sweetest soul with the sweetest voice. That's how her family says they want Jasmine Pace to be remembered. <laughs> Dozens of friends of family memorializing the 22-year-old whose body police found Thursday afternoon on Suck Creek. 
Described as the happiest girl you could meet, a beautiful woman, and an angel, the family now seeks justice after the arrest of UTC student Jason Chen. Police arrested and charged Chen with criminal homicide. One family member publicly called Chen calculated and accused him of using Jasmine's phone to send messages, pretending she was still alive and leaving town. Charges have been taken out for criminal homicide in the county of Hamilton. Um, the state of Tennessee is pursuing first-degree murder charges based on the evidence that we have at this time. With Chen now in jail, we asked the DA's office if they plan to upgrade the charges now that they have Jasmine's body. In this affidavit, police say Jasmine's last known location was inside Chen's apartment, where they believe a violent altercation occurred and police found blood stains and broken glass. And we have yet to hear back from the DA's office on whether or not they plan to upgrade those charges. We do know that Chen's bond hearing is set for December 6th, and several family members have taken to social media asking people to show up in support of Jasmine and to urge the judge to continue his no bond order for Chen. It has been one week since Jasmine Pace's body was found, and now a mourning family is seeking comfort amidst the chaos. In a celebration of life, those who knew her the best remembered her as a kind soul and a friend to all. She was a safe space for me, as I'm sure she was for all you guys. She made everyone feel like no matter the bad or the good, she would never judge you or make you feel any less. A bouquet of flowers, pink, purple, and white, sat in the center of this sanctuary. Underneath it, a beautiful white coffin. Inside, a woman, Jasmine Pace, whose friendly face is terribly missed. I will forever remember her bright, twinkling brown eyes, her gracious smile, and her sweet spirit, full of love and laughter. Loved ones fill the pews of Calvary Baptist Church in Red Bank, full of emotion, trying to hold it together. A community gathered for a celebration of life as they tried their hardest to not focus on the tragedy. It's a story that struck the nation. In November, 22-year-old Jasmine Pace was reported missing by her mother. And less than one week later, her body was found. Police say at the hands of her boyfriend, Jason Chen. I can't tell you the answer to why. You can't Google this and get the answer to why this happened. A family who's underwent a week's of searching, courtrooms, a vigil, and a constant reminder of the biggest loss now must ultimately lay her to rest. But Jasmine's story and her fight will not go forgotten, not for her family, friends, or the Red Bank community that loves her. Make her sweet, fierce, fiery, and loyal spirit live in each and every one of us. It's not goodbye. Only see you later. And until I see you again.